Good morning. Namaste. It's Leanne Peters here from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I couldn't um, not bring you out here to this beautiful sunrise. It is um, Monday the 21st of January here at exactly what time? It's 6.43 a.m. I'm coming to you live from Tasmania, Australia. And um, good morning. <laughs> it's Leanne Peters here from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. So I'm here to share some guidance for Monday and Tuesday. Monday the 21st, Tuesday the 22nd of January. So extra special welcome to my Temple of Balance patrons, my Pillar of Light family, and all of those of you who do support my work through my website. Thank you so much for your support. So if you're new to watching, welcome. What I'm going to be doing, and I trust I'm coming through loud and clear, um, I'm going to be using my Speed of Light Oracle cards with my Animal Kingdom Oracle cards and I'm going to be using these cards to look for the best card for Monday, the best card for Tuesday and then the best card for the theme for Monday and Tuesday. I'm not doing personal requests for guidance here today. This is general guidance for everyone. So I trust that you've been led here for a reason and I trust that something shared will be helpful and supportive for you. So just take on board what feels right at the time and let the rest go. If it doesn't make sense, it doesn't matter. Just think of this as a guide only, a little bit of fun. And if something resonates, then let's allow ourselves to be surprised and to work with that um, energy as um, it fits for us personally. So let's get started. You can't see me, you can just see my silhouette, I guess, unless the picture's out. <laughs> Um, I think the sunrise is so beautiful, so I am here. It's going to be a hot day today for us. So I thought, I, I actually only just woke up. Um, so I thought and felt that I would um, hang around out here just for a few minutes early before it gets too hot. So that's what I'm doing. So what I'm doing now is looking for the best card for Monday, the 21st of January. So I'm just going to shuffle the cards and um, trust that the best card that's the most helpful for the majority of us will find its way to the top of the deck. So what's it going to be? The best card for Monday the 21st of January. And we've got an Animal Kingdom Oracle cards and it's the Elephant card 7. The elephant talks about family commitments. So the elephant brings emphasis on Monday around our family in some way, that there's something important about the family. Now, when this card was created, it was created especially for, or in my, uh, within mind, uh, especially in mind, <laughs> for um, the, uh, what would you say, the, the, the ones who are struggling in our family and stepping up and being a support for them, or if we're the ones that are the, are the ones struggling in the family, stepping up and letting others support us in our family. So this could be our blood family, could absolutely be our soul family. So it doesn't have to be blood. So there's a sense here of stepping and plodding along at our own steady pace on Monday. Something I find fascinating about the elephants is that they can feel other her, other herds coming along uh, I don't I forget the distance now but they can feel it through the ground through their feet so maybe taking our shoes off if possible and stepping on the earth maybe something that's really important for some of us some of us may really need you know to rub our feet to get our feet out of the shoes out of the socks and and out into the air and out onto the ground so we can um, open up that connection again between our feet and the earth and our feet and nature. So if you have something planned or something organized or some type of meetup in the family, or if there's something going on in your family at this time, then this is important for you. 
So see how that resonates and fits in as you flow through your Monday. So thank you. I'm now looking for the best card for Tuesday the 22nd of January. So Tuesday the 22nd. I feel really good about the 22nd. It feels like a good date to me. I don't know why. So I'm looking for the best card for Tuesday. And we'll see what it is. So I trust you're all feeling good. Um, the moon, is that the moon in the background? No, this is the sun. <laughs> this is the sun here. I'll shuffle the cards so you can see. It's the sunrise. The moon is pretty much exactly opposite because I'm pretty sure it's a, an eclipse, probably almost an eclipse now. I don't know the exact time of it. I didn't really feel that connected to it to investigate but uh, we could say that the sun the earth and the moon are pretty much in an alignment right now which I find quite exciting to feel that alignment and that connection and it inspires an alignment within me how can I be become more aligned with my body and my emotions and my mind and my spirituality and my life are these things in alignment or is there something stronger than the other or is there something not quite working so let's grab the card for tuesday the 22nd and it's another animal kingdom oracle card it's this it's the frog and this is very typical of the energy right now it's 34, the frog. And the frog says to cleanse your environment. To cleanse your environment um, on the inside. So your inner environment or your outer environment. And a lot of us over these last, what would you say, four or five days, have been very much focused on cleansing, clearing, purging, sorting things out around our home, around our workplace, around our rooms. Um, and clearing also stuff clutter out as we're clearing out our outer environment clearing a lot of stuff out on the inner environment too so mentally emotionally physically in our life so the frog brings emphasis um, or focus around more cleansing on Tuesday so what about your environment on the inside and the outside requires clearing or purging further clearing or purging if you're in the middle of a clear out if you're in the middle of a purging then you might feel great support and motivation to keep going or get those final parts of it happening on Tuesday so allow the frog the frog's energy to help um, help us clear out and get our environment our inner and outer environments as clear and as toxic free as possible so it's a great transformation about it at the moment too and the frog does bring that element of transformation but very much the element of purging as well. So that's the frog. Now let's see which card's the best for the theme. I'll step out so you can see a bit more of the sunrise especially for you guys in the northern hemisphere who may be under snow or going through a cold time period. We're going through a bit of a heat wave at the moment here in the south here in parts of Australia anyway or probably all parts of Australia so sending you some warmth if you're cold sending you some cool I'm sure our winter um, viewers don't mind sending some cool to those who are going through extreme heat ah no I just dropped two cards under the deck I have to hold them a bit firmer so I dropped initiation and I forget what the other one was okay let's grab the best card for the theme so the theme card will help us bring these days together and help us see the bigger picture for Monday and Tuesday it's an animal kingdom oracle card <laughs> and it's the frog again so this just emphasizes like out of 110 cards here we've got the frog for a second time and the frog I don't think has even come up 
Now, if it has come up, it's come up once or twice since I've joined these two decks together. So that's really important. It talks about a very strong um, and potent time on Monday and Tuesday for clearing, cleansing, purging, surrendering, letting go, um, uh, releasing our hold, allowing change to come through, allowing ourselves and our lives, our environment to transform for the better to bring more positivity into our life, more love, more joy, more happiness, more freedom and peace and less toxicity, negativity, heaviness, struggles. And, you know, it's all right to sit here and say this or stand here and say this, but, you know, we have to be proactive. It's not just going to happen because we want it. So we have to make changes in our old toxic life and really be proactive in clearing out the negativity so that this is a potential. You know, there's no beating around the bush about it, no pretending. Words are easy, words are cheap. We have to back our words with action. So if you really want to step into your happiness, your freedom, the lightness, the positivity, you have to make changes in your life because I'm I can put two and two together that if you're not feeling it, if we're not feeling it right now, then something needs to change. If we're not feeling it now, we're in a toxic relationship or in a toxic environment or we're toxic inside because of our own thought processes, nothing's going to change for the positive to a substantial degree unless we are proactive in making changes. So let's be proactive in clearing up our environment and clearing up and cleansing our space so that we can move towards the positive environment that we want for ourselves and our loved ones. So the frog has come forward supporting that purging and supporting that clearing out of our toxic environments. So if you have a special connection with frog too, then frog's definitely coming up strongly in this guidance today. So strong transformation as well and a balance between our mind and our emotions as the frog plays in the watery realm, our emotional realm, and also plays in the air, so the mental realm. So maybe it might be worth looking at over Monday and Tuesday how balanced we are mentally and emotionally. Is our mind supporting us emotionally? Is our, are our emotions supporting us mentally? And if not, what do we need to shift to bring a balance about? So that's that, the theme for Monday and Tuesday and our card for Tuesday is the frog. So thank you so much for connecting. I've used my uh, Speed of Light and Animal Kingdom. I can't see anything. Animal Kingdom Oracle cards, although they were the only ones that came up today. So I've combined them. You can use them separately or you can combine them. It's up to you. You can learn more about them on my website if you're so inspired so thanks for connecting. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button. Please show us some love. Please comment or share if you're inspired to. And if you want to connect more privately, just send us a message through our website. Have a wonderful couple of days. I will be in on Tuesday the 22nd for our healing event for patrons in my Temple of Balance closed group here on Facebook. It's open to anyone to join it's just closed because it's more of a private community than this public page here on my temple of balance uh, public facebook page so keep an eye out for that tomorrow at 2 p.m sydney time um, and those of you on my healing list who have registered through patreon thank you i look forward to connecting with you um, I've got new pendants coming out that I uh, created some yesterday. I've got those coming out today or tomorrow. So keep an eye out for those and some new crystal earrings. Um, and if you want to learn more about me and the work that I do, please visit my website at templeofbalance.com.au. So thanks for connecting today. Sending you lots of love and sunshine and warmth, strength that we might get from the sun too life sending all that you need so that you can turn things around for yourself it's not up to others to change things around for you sometimes that happens but most of the time it doesn't so if you recognize that something needs turning around 
or changing or shifting or improving about you or your life, why not start being proactive about it now? How can you do that? Sit with yourself for a bit. Think about how you're feeling. Make some notes in your journal. Get to know yourself so you know what you want. You know what you don't want. And start taking steps in supporting your, your transformation, your rebirthing. Anyway, I'm off now to go and start writing the current energy report for our Pillar of Light family. So I look forward to sharing whatever comes up in that with you guys in the next couple of hours. And um, there'll be pendants later and that's about it. So send you lots of love. Thanks for connecting today and uh, namaste. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste.